In this tutorial, Organic Chemistry Screencast, we're going to look at the extraction of a molecular formula from mass spectrometry. So what is shown is a very crude uh, piece of data that resembles uh, that obtained from a mass spectrometer. So there's two axes. The x-axis has mass to charge, indicated by m divided by z, that starts at zero and runs up from there in positive integers. On the y-axis is relative intensity, or abundance, that runs from 0% to 100%. So in this example, we're given a data point at a mass-to-charge ratio of 58. So conceptually, what you can think of that number is, is 58 grams per mole. So with that information of m to z equal to 58, what do we want to do? We want to convert 58 into a molecular formula. Then from the molecular formula, we want to propose constitutional isomers that are possible. From there, we'll determine the unique number of carbons, hydrogens, and hydrogen set ratios to differentiate those constitutional isomers. We're going to restrict the type of elements present in that molecular formula by considering only a hydrocarbon. which means that within the m to z equal to 58, we only have carbon and hydrogen present. So therefore, the first thing we want to do is determine the maximum number of carbons present in 58. So what we can do is take 58 and divide by the atomic mass of carbon, which is 12. So the max number of carbons is equal to 58 divided by 12 and you get 4.83. So we have to have a whole integer number and is, is a meaning of logic in solving this type of problem. You're not going to round up to the next highest integer and there's a reason for that. So the maximum number will be 4. The reason that it cannot be 5 because if we take 12 times 5, we end up with 60. And 60 is greater than 58, and we've already overshot what uh, the data that we're given. So again, because this is a hydrocarbon with carbon and hydrogen, it not only has to have carbon, it also has to have hydrogen. So if, if we're greater than the data point we're given, that, that cannot be the maximum. So we're going to stick with 4 as the maximum number of carbons. So now what we want to do is determine the carbon contribution. So if we take 12 times 4, that equals 48. 48 of those mass units belong to carbon, and so therefore what is the hydrogen contribution? It's going to be simply the difference 58 minus 48 equals 10. So we can see that using this logic we have four carbons and we have 10 hydrogens. So therefore our molecular formula is C4H10. Now to propose constitutional isomers, the first thing we have to do is um, determine if that molecular formula has any degrees of unsaturation. So remember we're going to use CN, H2N plus 2. That belongs to a saturated alkane. In our case, N is equal to 4.
So we end up with C4, H10. So for four carbons, that's what it should be fully saturated. And we see that from our proposed molecular formula, C4H10, we subtract these, and essentially we end up with zero degrees of unsaturation. What does that mean? There are no pi bonds or rings present in the molecule. So every carbon is fully saturated. That means all carbons are sp3 hybridized. So we can go ahead and start proposing structures for this, constitutional isomers. We have four carbons, so the first thing we can do is put them in a row. So there's four carbons, that's linear. That's going to have two unique carbons. two unique type of hydrogens. The ratio between them will be six and four. And we can also propose one other constitutional isomer where we degrade the chain to C3. So we have a propane derivative. Now we have one more carbon to account for. We're gonna place that on the second carbon this is a branched compound. Again, we end up with two unique type of carbon, two unique type of hydrogen, and the ratio between them is 9 to 1. So this has been a screencast on how to convert mass spectrometry data into a molecular formula, determining the maximum number of carbons, the hydrogen contribution, to come up with a proposed molecular formula, a review of degrees of unsaturation, and then the proposal of constitutional isomers with looking at unique number of carbons, hydrogens, and the ratios between them.